Hi, my name is Teresa Weinstein, and I am doing a book review on the book Overcoming the Five Dysfunction of a Team by the author Patrick Lencioni. And he is an author with, with extensive experience in team building and team cohesiveness. And he's the founder of a consulting group called The Table Group. And this team specializes in team development. Um, this author has also written five acclaimed books, um, including the New York Times bestseller, The Five Dysfunctions of a Team. So the purpose of this book is really to educate leaders about five common problems that he has seen throughout his years of experience um, that commonly plague teams and to help leaders understand that building team cohesiveness is not a quick fix. It can be difficult. It is long term. Um, consulting firms can help get that started, but very um, it needs to have some time and, and money invested in that. Um, he also um, wants to have his purpose of the book be that leaders can utilize these strategies that he puts forth um, to help the team to resolve issues. And his ultimate goal at the end um, is that leaders understand that courage and persistence are really the keys to success um, in team building. Um, this book was really written for any team. Um, no matter how big or how small, um, any organization from a large um, investment firm to a small nonprofit to a hospital to another organization. Um, and it's really great because it's really concise. Um, it's to the point. It's really easy to read. And um, there's a lot of information, but it's really laid out in a great, um, easy to understand manner. Um, Lencioni really defines team dysfunction and gives a lot of tips on how to solve that dysfunction. Um, for me, the only shortcoming is that I would have liked to have a longer kind of bulleted list of specific ways that leaders can address these dysfunction um, when going back to reference the book so I don't have to read the whole chapter. Um, but Overall, I would highly recommend um, this book to anyone who is leading any sort of team, where whether it be a first meeting, um, going into a first meeting that you're going into leading, or um, anything like that. A very, very versatile book. Um, according to Lencioni, the absence of trust, fear of conflict, lack of commitment, avoidance of accountability, and inattention to results are um, the five problems that teams face. Um, addressing these issues will really make the team to be much more productive and effective. Um, the first dysfunction is the absence of trust, and that is the most important and valuable characteristic, according to Lencioni. Um, and it's hard to define, but he defined it as being vulnerable and being open. And how to conquer that is, um, how to conquer the absence of that is really having that leader be vulnerable and saying, I'm sorry, and I need help, and I don't understand. And that will do a trickle-down effect to the rest of the team. Um, in addition, using tools such as the Myers-Briggs type indicator um, as a behavioral um, tool to assess and reveal behavioral tendencies of the team is an excellent, excellent way to start to open up and uh, define that team. Um, he also gives us this conflict dysfunction, and most people have fear of conflict, but conflict is really good, and he gives us this conflict continuum where we don't want to have artificial harmony, where we want to just smooth over everything, and we don't want to move into mean-spirited personal attacks either. Um, we just want to have that ideal conflict point which the leader can facilitate. In addition, he talks about lack of commitment as the third dysfunction. Um, and people can feel as if they dis decisions that have been made are wrong because they did not um, contribute to them. Um, and the way to really fix that um, is to really get buy-in and get the opinions of the whole team. And nine times out of ten, when you really bring everything to the table, 
even if the team, the person did not um, fully support the decision in the beginning, they will come out of the meeting motivated and supportive if they feel they had input. Um, another dysfunction is people who avoid accountability. And um, this is a real danger zone for a lot of people. They don't want to tell other people um, that they have had a problem with what they're doing, but the leader really needs to facilitate this and uh, immediately intervene and remind team members of their responsibilities. The last dysfunction is um, inattention to results, and any great team who has trust, um, commitment, um, and can deal with conflict can always lose sight of what they're working towards. And so the leader needs to keep results visible and they need to be objective, such as um, client satisfaction scores, profit, and key milestones. Um, I believe the author really ab achieved the objectives in defining what the dysfunctions of a team are and how to go about resolving them. Um, I really recommend this book to any leader, and um, I really enjoyed this book, and I'm going to take it back to my organization.